Hi, and welcome to Ask Lillian. Over the last week, I've heard from so many of you, in person, phone calls, emails, all over the concern of school safety. There is nothing worse than being a mother and or father dropping your child off at school for eight hours and not knowing if you'll ever see them again. I've gone through that, many of you have gone through that, and I agree with our young people, enough is enough. I believe we need to look at a comprehensive approach, an approach that says kids are hurting at school. There is harassment and bullying and lack of resources, lack of mental health services, lack of relationship building because there is no time and we need to fix that. I have a student mental health bill that will move us in that direction by allowing counselors and psychologists and social workers to collaborate with mental health professionals to make sure they are on top of all those early signs. But we got to do more. We know we have to do more around social emotional learning, around mental health services and relationship building in our schools. That conversation has to continue. On the other side of that, we have some common sense gun laws that doesn't take anybody's rights away, but make sense. For example, we have a bump stock law in Olympia right now. A bump stock will turn a rifle into a machine gun. There is no reason to do that. That makes sense to eliminate that. We also have a volunteer program that allows you to turn in your gun voluntarily if you have any fear of hurting yourself or someone else. Now, people always ask, well, that just doesn't make sense. You know, if, if you're not thinking well and you have a mental illness, why would you do that? Because you're not always not thinking well. There are times when you're thinking clearer and you actually experience that fear. This will give people an opportunity and a place to turn those in. Every time we do take a step towards comprehensive, a comprehensive approach to this issue, we get a little closer to not losing another life. We've got to stay in the conversation and be very comprehensive about the way we approach this. Thank you.